Find it in the Bible. Your religious view? Uh, yes. First of all, um, I don't pay my Duke Power bill with a check. I call them direct and pay with a debit card. Well, man, I wasn't talking about you. Or, wait a minute. Therefore, my bill is paid right then. You can hang up, call right back, and it's paid then. I don't have to wait. Okay. So when I it's talk, not paid, I, ma'am. And I For ask, the sake of illustration, now let me answer it. For the sake okay. of illustration, well, it's I'm, not paid until but, they get it out of your bank account. That's my whole point. You can say it's paid, but it's not paid until the money's applied to the to the account but if from you Duke, call Power. Duke Power. They're going to tell you that it's paid because <coughs> they ma'am. know, and they give me a number. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Okay, ma'am. It has been paid. Okay. So okay. I'm glad you pay your bills that way. Is that the way you pay all your bills? Sure. When is. you go, when you buy your groceries, you never, you don't pay. You, Cash. I'm just saying, ma'am. I know. See, the problem is the illustration makes so much sense that you have to call and try to poke a hole in it. But my point is, uh, no, you have you money. No, the point is, the you have money, you ma'am. The point is, you have money, and your bill, your debt, is not paid until money is applied to that to that account. The word of God, because you told me that you didn't believe that. Didn't believe what? That that was the infallible word of God. You told me that last week. Of course, it won't on air, and you won't dare put that on on the air. Now say again what you said. I said. I I really wished I could record some of this. Okay, well, tell me what you said I said. I asked you if you believed that the Bible was the infallible Word of God, and you said no. Now, ma'am, that is a bold-faced lie. No, it is not. It certainly is. I have have the call. I had to ask you twice. Ma'am, I have never said this is not the infallible Word of God. Sure did. You sure did. I, ma'am, I've got the clip. That on there. I've got the Why clip. Why don't you put the whole entire conversation that we had off the air on the air? Well, if I had time for the whole conversation, don't I would. Choose what you want to put on there. No, Put ma'am. the whole conversation on there from start to finish, buddy. Do you know when it was, ma'am? Yeah, the at- same time you're uh, doing that right there where you got me saying all the rest of the stuff that you got. It was the same night. I know that, but at what point oh, in too. the conversation? What? At what point in the conversation? When we were off air, when y'all asked me to hold on. I understand on that, ma'am, but we were off the air for almost 30 minutes. That's right. So I had the, another question. Okay, so you're going to make an accusation that I said this is not the infallible Word of God, but I'm saying right now I said, that it is the infallible Word of God. I have a question like that, and y'all put me on hold and want to tell me to hang on and you'll get to me after the show, I'll make sure that I record you so well, I, I can sure wish you would. let everybody know what I, y'all that'd say. That'd be fine with there. us, ma'am. We don't have a problem with being recorded. I don't As a matter of fact, when we when we're going to record it, do you not realize we're recording ourselves too? I don't care who you record. I don't care if you record me, but how about when you record me? That you put everything on there, not just pick and choose. With ma'am, I am not taking you out of context. Like, you your say. problem, ma'am, your problem is you're hearing truth, and it's going against what you believe, and that's what you're having a problem with. No, you just said Jesus oh. forgive. You said Jesus so forgives. You hear the truth from a lot of people, ma'am. You said Jesus forgives before okay. He washes in your blood. Now, I have now, a problem with it, ma'am. You said Jesus forgives before He washes you in His blood. Now, did you misspeak, or is that really what you believe? No, he forgives you, and at the same time, you are washed. Your sins are washed away. But now that's not what you said. That's right. That's not what you but said. You're the one that twisted my words, ma'am. I didn't twist your words. I just played what you said. It, I said that uh, nothing can wash away your sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus. And you asked me when. I said when you repented. Then, that's when your sins are washed away. When you and I said find the verse, and I said find the verse, and you said for me to find it. Now, sure why should is. I find the verse that you can't find? Donnie sitting over there with a cue card telling me what to say every five seconds and what verse to pull up. I'm sorry? I mean, you know. You, Ma'am, there is no one in this room but me in this camera. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Scotty, you want to come okay, turn the camera so around so they can see there's nobody in the room? Y'all don't go to school to <laughs> learn. 
Well, man, where did you learn all your wisdom? Hearing the Word of God and reading it. Oh, okay. So that's what we did. Just because we studied the Bible, does, uh, does, that, mean, does that mean something that we missed? Does that make it wrong? To help you study? Jesus actually went. Jesus actually was in school too. You know, he went to the temple and was asking questions and being asked. So, does that make him wrong for going to school? Uh, he was the one teaching. He wasn't the one that was in there listening to be taught. He already knew what he needed. Are you know? sure? Are you sure about that? God, yeah, I'm sure about that. You sure that Jesus wasn't asking questions? I didn't say he wasn't asking questions, but he was asking them in a different way. He wasn't asking them to get knowledge. He already had the knowledge. The knowledge came from God because he was of God. Well, what about the Apostle Paul? He was in the school of one Gamaliel. Was he, was he sinning for going to school? You got something to get school, man? No, I don't have anything to get school. Okay, so then why are you condemning us for going to school? Because you claim that, you know, y'all don't have a de so-called denomination or headquarters we or don't, anything like that. And anybody with any sense can go online and find out. That well, apparently you don't have, have sense because you haven't found it, ma'am. We do not have an earthly headquarters. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Where is it? Oh, Please I'll tell be, me. Be sure and pull Please it tell up me. Remember the man's name. Please tell me. While since I looked at it, because when y'all yeah. first come on the air, yeah. Please I tell me. To know a lot about y'all. Ma'am, I tell you I what. I think you need to go to school. Ma'am, I think you need to go to school. Ma'am, I think you need to go to school so you'll learn something about Already. getting your facts right. Well, many years ago, and I don't need you to tell me where to go. Well, well, ma'am, I'm just telling you you need to go to school. You're saying all this stuff about we have a headquarters, and you don't even know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. Well, apparently you don't. Give me the information. Where is the headquarters like of the Church of Christ on Earth? There is the headquarters in Texas where Johnny's from. There is no headquarters of the Church of Christ in Texas. Okay. Say what you want to. Like I said, it's been years. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you know so much him. about what Johnny's we believe. Johnny's name was on there. He was associated as an affiliate of the headquarters. He was sent up here. Ma'am, recruited. Ma'am, you don't know anything about what you're talking about. I do. No, you don't. Get yes, it. Do. Get it on. Bring it out. Bring the information, please. Expose will, us for being the false teacher. More, and I'll I'll probably be back next week. But when you record okay. me, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Next week, bring your facts. Recording the whole. Ma'am, bring listen. your facts next week. Bring your facts. The Show us the headquarters. Show choose. us the headquarters of the Church of Christ in Texas. Show us where it is. Because I can assure you, I'm from Texas. I've never seen the headquarters, never been there. As a matter of fact, the headquarters for the Church of Christ. The Church of Christ in Texas? Ma'am? Are you telling me that there's no Church of Christ in Texas? No, that's not what I said. There are a lot of churches of Christ in Texas, congregations of the Church of Christ. But there is no headquarters. Okay, maybe you don't call it headquarters. Maybe I'm mistaken. On well, that. tell us what we call it then. You know so much about it. You, you've done the research on it. Tell us what it's called. I, I will. As okay. Soon as I all right. Go well, back online. All right. I'll Get back online. Get all the facts. Thanks for your call.